the neurotransmitters are synthesized by the nutrients that we know we've talked about in the past and some we'll talk about in the future. They then are released from an action potential. So we need nutrition and we need proper nerve pathway firing. This is the pa part that everyone else misses. The nutrition for neurotransmitters is important and you can give it, but if the pathway isn't firing at the normal rate, if there is a under firing pathway, oftentimes due to deafferentation, then you will have not an adequate number of action potentials to release that neurotransmitter even if you have enough nutrients to, to make the neurotransmitter its full form. So when we balance muscles and we make corrections that create muscles firing more, more uh, normally, when they're firing more normally we're getting more nerve action potentials firing not just to the muscle in the neuromuscular pathway but throughout the nervous system whatever pathways we're affecting. And as that muscle then fires more properly, it's giving more feedback into the central nervous system, driving pathways in the central nervous system. So from creating action potentials by the things we do in our therapies and having adequate nutrition so that there's neurotransmitter availability to fulfill those action potentials, we create changes which create a vicious, would break a vicious cycle and create a full cycle of having the nutrient to make the pathway fire. The pathway fires makes the muscle fire, creates more feedback activity, creating even more action potentials in the central nervous system, which then creates more outflow to muscles. And we get this flow of activity where we store afferentation and have the nutrition to support it, causing more normalization of health. 